All right, we are back with another Ace Force 2 video, and today we're gonna go through the settings and give you my personal favorite settings so that you can dominate in the game. Anyway, if you do wanna try this game, there is gonna be a link in the description down below. Anyway, let's hop into the game. All right, so first things first, obviously you gotta go to the settings, so hit the menu, hit the settings, and we're gonna go through all of them. Now, the first thing you're gonna see is the control. This is probably the best and most important part of the settings. We're gonna go through them, and it's gonna be different for different players. I am currently playing on a Tab S9, but if you're playing on phones, some of these might be more, uh, I guess, important for you so for example main thing ads mode toggle or hold i use one button to aim so i actually hit the toggle but if you like to use thumbs i would recommend doing the hold so you can ads with the thumbs and then shoot with the uh, other finger so that's just me personally ads rotation i would also use that if i was on the phone but on tablet i had it on but it doesn't really matter for me since i tap but if you're playing hold i honestly like using that so if you're a phone player and you like holding i would much rather do that Walk mode, I think toggle is the best way to do it. There's no reason for you to hold it. You want to be walking a lot of the time. So I like having that on toggle. Walk button, rotate camera. Honestly, you should just have this on. I mean, it's it's good if you toggle it, right? I mean, if you hold it, because you can hold and walk and you can kind of move with it. But beside that, I don't think it's really that useful. I'm gonna try to toggle and then move with my joystick, fire cancel, walk. So basically whenever you shoot, it's gonna make you run or regular movement. But if you have a suppressed gun, I'm much rather uh, walk, stand still, walk, stand still rather than run. So I like having that turned off. Same for the abilities. You don't wanna throw a smoke and then start walking to give away your, uh, I guess your location. But typically speaking, if you're throwing smokes, people kind of know where you are, but those are the ones that I like have turning off. And I think that's the way to go. Crouch mode, I think toggle is the best. And then rotate camera with crouch, I also like having that off. I honestly just like rotating the camera the regular way, which is with the joystick. But again, your own personal choice. Next up is the advanced. Most of these are for like abilities and extra other stuff. So for example, abilities, I like having the press so I can hold on to and then release it rather than hold on and then release. Just gives me a little more leeway to not accidentally throw my abilities. Highlight cast button. Honestly, really, it's like, it's cool to know that you have the ability up, but you don't really need it. So if you find it annoying, turn it off. I actually right now using left hand because my face cam is on the bottom right. Because if, if I'm facing like this way most of the time, so the reason is I want to be able to face that way. But again, personal choice. I have a left hand. It might look weird to you. A lot of people might have right hand. Continuous fire as actually, honestly, I, I like having it on because I do spray a little bit. Not crazy amount. In this game, you want to tap fire, but sometimes it's okay to spray like three bursts and then hopefully get some kills. So that's what I like having it on. I like holding to diffuse. The reason for that is that if you're holding the diffuse and someone shows up in front of you, you can actually let go and then actually just shoot rather than hold, tap, release, tap, you know? So personally, that's for me. Uh, stand, crouch, you can have it regular when you crouch again or you can jump. Honestly, I don't think that's important. I just have it standing. Switch button, I like that because you have a button to switch. So that if you run out of bullets, you can switch to your pistols in case you do. But again, really up to you. Uh, shotgun, press a fire for me. If you use shotguns, shotguns are trash. Unless you have the uh, automatic fire shotgun, which is actually pretty good. So I actually like having that on press a fire so you can tap, 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 tap. So that's me. Uh, left joystick uh, center drift on. I think this must because if it's on a like basically a fix, you will accidentally shift up and your screen will go up. So I like having that you know, at the, the moving. So it's basically wherever your finger goes, that's where it's gonna go. So definitely recommend having that. So for the effective joystick area, basically what it does is that whenever you flick it, it's gonna like kind of go to left and right faster. Honestly, I just have it fixed because I like playing more fixed so I can control it, get used to it. But again, you can change this if you want. There's actually more sensitivities afterwards, but for now, this is what I kept it at. So when it comes to the HUD, everybody's gonna be different. For me personally, you can see this is my HUD. I'm gonna actually show off my face cam and you can see this is how it's kind of unique because I'm playing six finger, but you can get away with playing four, three fingers, even two fingers. But I recommend three fingers because you have a trigger to shoot. So that's just my personal preference. Now sensitivity, you can actually have the preset they have. I actually put everything on low so that I can actually have a more precise control. I find I've had a medium, it was actually too high, but again, it's personal preference. You can have it higher so you can actually do crazy flicks but for me personally i have it on low for everything and i have gyroscope off because i am currently playing on a tablet when you go to advanced where you can actually adjust your sensitivities but again each sensitivity is different based on the phone and the tablet or whatever you have but you play around with it you can have a scope sensitivity sight sensitivities all different one and then on the bottom you have the speed acceleration i have it turned off because i personally like being able to control it and having a little difference but that's up to you you can do distance which is based on how far you are and then speed is how far you flick and then you can actually choose how much so 
you wanted to use speed acceleration, I'd probably go with speed acceleration and put it at like the lowest one at the one. So you can kind of get a little bit more speed acceleration. That's how I would personally use it. But right now I'm just using it on the off. Next up is the crosshair. I think it's the most important in the game. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can customize however you want to, but there's actually presets that you have. We actually have my own presets, but we also have the recommended one. You have this right here, the micro factor one, the micro focus and extreme. A lot of players are using extreme because they like having that one dot to tell you where you are. I personally like having a cross. I don't know why, but we can kind of go more in depth on this. I personally like picking the white. I think white is the best color because there's not many white, but yellow is also a good one, but the bright white seems to work. I definitely don't recommend the red because there's a lot of red, especially the players are red. Black is just fades in the background. Blue's not bad and green's okay, but I think white is the best one. So basically how each of these, we can actually go through of these. So if you want to kind of have this, so they have the inner lines, the outer lines. So outer lines is whenever you shoot or walk. That's the outer lines. I'll show you guys real quick. I display it. So you'll see those move up. Some players like having these to see where the recoil is. I find it kind of distracting. So I can actually turn it off. But in the main ones, you can have the opacity of the lines. You can see it just makes it darker or brighter. You have the thickness. You can make it thicker if you want to. Personally, I like having it lower. You have the inner line length. So you can see the lines. It can actually get bigger. You can actually get it smaller if you like. But I like five. It's my sweet spot. Inner line offset basically is how far they're from the middle. But that's actually based on your opinion. But I like having it at the zero. Line brightness, you can actually be super bright if you want to. So it doesn't really change much. So for me, I. I'll have it the max brightness just to have that. And then if you do for the off chance, wanted to play with this, you can see it's the same thing. You got the thickness of this, the outer length. And if you want to kind of go crazy, you can, but personally, I don't have that. So I have it turned off. And then you have the center dot, the little dot. You can have it super thick. You can have it super thin. You can hide it if you want to. And then you have the cross here, which I, I hide. So you can put it on here. So all basic stuff, advanced, you can actually play with the movement stuff. So you can turn it on when you move so that whenever you're moving, the middle one actually goes up and down. Again, personally, not a huge fan of that. I'd have to turn it off and then outer line movement error. Um, it, you can turn it off but when you move. That's basically what I have it turned off. So it's all personal preferences, but this one, find firing error to message, fade crosser. Again, these are like not very super important in my opinion. And then we have the aim down sights. I usually don't use this just because I don't ADS. I really hit fire. So really nothing crazy here, but the important part is to have this part set up. And then once you have this, you'll be golden. All right. So next up is the mini map. It's not really super important, but it's more a quality of life kind of thing. So personally speaking, when it comes to mini map rotation, I like having it side fixed. Basically what this does is that your character moves, but the map does not. If you want the player to, if you want the map to move, you pick the player center one and always fix. Basically what this does is that it's going to be based on what size you are. It's going to be. So for example, if you start on the top side, you can see right here, you're going to be on the top side and then you have the player fixed. I personally like this one. I think it's the best one. You kind of know which way you're going. And then, like I said, if you want the rotation, it's actually going to rotate as you move. So I rather have me move than the map move. But again, personal preferences, avatar size, really up to you. doesn't really matter. In my opinion, I have it at hundred. Keep it that way so you can see where your teammates are. Then the mini map zoom. I actually like having the map button rather than the button. So instead of hitting the plus button, you can see this is the default. It comes with a little plus button and you would you'd be able to tick. I much rather just have the map, just click on the map and bang it approaches it. It's actually more common in other games. So I like having this one. Usability is just really like on hit effects. So really it's all personal preferences. I put the vintage blades. It actually looks pretty cool to me. This is how the vintage blade, I put yellow effects, you know, the model red death animation, actually death animation is something that I like using. I think disc is actually cooler. Like quartz is nice, but the disc actually look really nice. The crates are really cool. Marker X mark, mark the spot. So Again, it's cool to have at least something. This is better to tell like which player is dead, but it, you can kind of easily tell if you look at the, who's alive and stuff like that. And then uh, these are really like whatever. Right? It's like outer, outer distortion. I would just turn it off. Auto equip priority fix. Basically what it does is if you go back from like a weapon or anything like that, you actually have your last weapon. So you can do fix or recent. I do fix because it just brings out the primary weapon. Whereas recent will just whatever recently come out. I think fix is the best and inspect when fully loaded. It just makes a reload button inspect. So that's kind of cool for me. So I have that turned on now for graphics as is now. I don't have 120 frames or 144. If you do, I recommend putting it. I am currently running HDR with 60 frames because it's, you know what, 60 frames. I might as well have the best quality. And then you can actually have the UI scaling. So you can have the, the, the interface bigger if you want to. But I kept it at zero and zero because I found it's perfectly fine, especially since I have a bigger screen already. And then you have the advanced section here. Really, it's just extra texture stuff. You know, you have anti-aliasing, map quality. So if you really can't run this game, you can actually put this all to lower part and stuff like that. 
So really just more advanced stuff. Sound, I actually turn off the music just because I'm streaming. So I have the, the music sometimes is copyrighted, but you can have the music. It's kind of a vibe sometimes. And the sound effects and the voiceover, I put a 50%. I don't want it to be too loud. And then everything else, the voiceover richness, extensive. You can do basic or standard, but actually the voiceover is actually pretty cool. When you hear the players uh, yell, they're doing their ultimates. You can kind of tell. So you kind of want to have that maxed out. So next up is a recommended. So basically at the start of the round, you actually see like a recommended tab. This is where it comes up. I don't usually recommend you using that because it's better to just go to shop and buy what you want. But if you want to save a bit of time, it's actually not bad, especially if you can kind of configure it the way you want. So you can see the priorities. I like having shields first, weapon, and then abilities. I, I think having some abilities, you don't want people to buy all the abilities. Like having some smokes early on is good. But this is what I like setting up. And then I like having the shields recommended that so you put like the heavy shield and light shield. I personally like buying shields all the time. And then the weapons, you pick the one that you typically want to buy. For me, I don't actually like buying these, so I actually will remove them. I don't usually use recommended. But personally speaking, when it comes to guns, I'll buy the MP5 if I'm trying to save. And then if I want to get a gun, I'll just get the M416, which I personally like using because I like the low burst sprays. But if you're a more accurate player, the AK-12 might be the better one because you can one tap to the head. Next up, we have the languages. So it's actually cool. It's in English, but actually players are actually speaking in like uh, Cantonese as well as Japanese. So you can actually switch to different language. So if you want, you can go to Chinese. I thought maybe there'd be Japanese. That'd be kind of cool. And then the interface, you have English and Chinese. So those are your two options. That were tested to see if your ping is good or not. And your privacy is just little extra stuff. All right. So these are the settings that I personally use. Let me know in the comments down below if these settings are similar to what you are using. If there's something that you would change different, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.